Hey guys, this is Evan with Summers Wellness. I'm here as I am every week with Dana from Whole Health Dana, who is waving at you right now. Um, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, for those of you who are watching this on replay, whether it's on YouTube or on Facebook, thank you guys for tuning in. This is our weekly essential oils education class. We do this every Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern, always on the same Zoom channel. If you follow Summers Wellness, you'll always be notified of the event and when we go live. This week's topic is on back to school. Um, we're also going to be doing a back to school topic next week as well. So this week we're focused on essential oils and natural solutions for home as you're preparing for back to school. Next week we're going to be talking about using oils at school, whether it's daycare, um, regular, you know, um, primary school, high school, even college. Um, these tips can be extended far beyond just back to school time, but I want to keep this going and give you guys an idea is at least with a back to school in mind, you can use these tips and these general generality generalities towards your entire life, towards using natural solutions for your entire life. So we're going to go through this relatively quickly. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, uh, for those of you who are here live, you can type them in the chat box. For those of you who are watching on the replay, uh, you're always welcome to send me a message on the Summer's Wellness page on Facebook. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. This particular weekly webinar is not sales oriented. It is not designed around a specific brand. So you are welcome to ask any questions about any company, any oils that you'd like. And if you have general questions about essential oils, please reach out to myself or Dana, and we'll be happy to get you the information that you need. So with that, let's talk first about pretty much why. Why would we want to look at essential oils for back to school time? Really what it boils down to is there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of changes that occur in your life around this time of year, every year. Even though you, let's just for example, figure you may have a child who's in high school and you do this dance with the calendar every single year, it's still disruptive to your pattern. You've been doing kind of a consistent pattern for the last two to three months in some cases. When the kid's home from, home from school for the summer and you're not worried about waking up earlier in the morning to rush off to school and then sit in traffic and then deal with everything else that goes with back to school, you're now disrupting that pattern again in time for back to school. Beyond that, when you're preparing for back to school, it's like Christmas for every office supply store. Your wallet is probably smoking by now when you look at how much money you're spending on a weekly basis just trying to prepare for back to school. Getting lists from the schools telling you hundreds of dollars worth of materials that you need to purchase in advance, half of which your child's never going to use. And they're never going to finish or they're going to get lost. Um, this whole time of year gets very stressful for a lot of reasons. And those are just a couple of them. So when we talk about why essential oils, why natural solutions this time of year, there is no better time of year to start to focus on that than back to school. Because there's a lot of different stressors that are all kind of wearing away at you simultaneously and utilizing natural means to support your body is going to be infinitely better than reaching for more over-the-counter medications that are going to lead to more side effects or having to rush to the doctor to get prescription meds for anxiety or for upset stomach um, or for mental focus and acuity. All of these things that tend to wane during this time of year, you can avoid by utilizing essential oils, proper diet, vitamins, mineral nutrition, um, boosting up your immune system so you're better able to handle these stressors without having it overly stress you. And that's really the most important part. If you can keep yourself on a relatively even keel, you can handle what gets thrown at you. Um, let's see, I'm going, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut off Jay's video while she, while she gets herself settled. <laughs> Just because the wandering is, is getting distracting. <laughs> I'll, I'll get some more oils going here in a minute. Um, but that's why we want to focus on stuff like that for back to school. So 
talking about the emotions, talking about stresses, you're developing a whole new pattern. You are trying to look at and navigate um, time of waking up. How long do you need to get your child out of bed and break their pattern? Get them dressed, get them fed, make sure they've got all their stuff with them, get them in the car, drive them to school, deal with traffic, get to work on time, get your work done, still run your household, fight with your kids over homework, and still manage to get some decent rest to wake up and do it all again tomorrow. That's a lot of emotional stress that's tearing away at you on a daily basis. So utilizing essential oils primarily, diffusing them in the house on a daily basis can help you bring about a sense of clarity. At night, if you diffuse lavender, vetiver, sandalwood, cedarwood, um, oils like that will help you get a more restful night's sleep. Um, having that restful night's sleep is key to handling the stress of the next day. Getting a diffuser in your car or even putting, some, putting a few cotton balls with essential oils in your car will allow you to carry aromatherapy around with you on a mobile basis. So you can take advantage of your essential oils while you're in the car. I know for me, I have to have my oils in my diffuser going in the car when I drive. I get so frustrated in traffic that for me, it's paramount to have an, an oils diffuser going in my car every time I'm in the car. But it's not just about the oils. Uh, nutrition plays a big part in this. No amount of essential oils is going to offset a McDiet, no matter how you try. Fast food, garbage diet, grab and go, didn't have time to make breakfast, so we'll just run through the drive through on the way to school. It's not going to cut it. I know that sounds really harsh, but it's, it's not going to help. It's, it's, the, it's the dieting concept of a double whopper and a diet coke. One does not offset the other. So it, it really truly is a lifestyle change. If you want to cut down on the stress, if you want to improve the quality of life for this time of year, you need to embrace a lifestyle change. And if you lead the lifestyle change, you can bring your child along with you. They'll get the benefit of that lifestyle change as well. Um, I, I know plenty of parents who at one time in their past said, I can't eat healthy at home because my kids won't let me do it. We can't keep healthy food in the house because my child will never eat it. Well, the reason their child would never eat it was because they also were given the option of cookies and cakes and donuts and all that other garbage. So if given the choice between a bag of Oreos and a bag of carrots, most children are going to grab the bag of Oreos. If the bag of Oreos doesn't exist, the bag of carrots becomes the snack of choice. So it's part of that lifestyle choice. And when you improve the diet, you improve the energy. When you improve sleep, you improve energy. And then when you use your essential oils and you use a natural food-based vitamin and mineral supplement, you improve the body's natural ability to heal and sustain itself for long-term health. Um, so as we start talking about energy, we start talking about focus. One of the things that really starts to dissipate when you start to compound this schedule change for back to school is what I like to call the two o'clock wall. You know, you're now waking up probably about an hour or so early just to get the kids up out of bed and get them to school. So what used to be that three o'clock fallout where you would get that, that three o'clock mood change, you start getting hangry. Um, if you're working a regular office job, you, that, this is the time of day when people try to take that last coffee break of the day. They run to a break room and they grab a bag of chips and a Coke, thinking that's going to give them the energy to get them through the remaining two, three hours left of work. Now that three o'clock wall has changed to a two o'clock wall because you're up earlier. But the crash becomes more significant because you're taxing your brain that much more 
because you've taken the stress upon yourself to make sure that your entire family is set for back to school. You're running the kids around. You're running yourself around. You still have work to focus on. Now you've got to also figure out what time can I pick the kid or kids up from school, navigate between multiple schools in some places, rush back to the house, make dinner, get everything situated so you can do it again tomorrow. Something's got to give. So reinforcing your mindset, reinforcing your body, um, all of that can help impact you for long term. None of this is going to change overnight. It takes consistency. It takes understanding that if you wake up in the morning and you throw orange and peppermint in your diffuser and you let that run for 15, 20 minutes in the morning as you're getting ready and getting dressed, it's going to provide you a wake up with energy and focus to give you a little bit of a leg up on your morning. If you're driving to work and you can diffuse lavender and lime in your car, you can have increased focus on the road while relaxing your body and, and kind of keeping yourself calm from blowing up in rush hour traffic. Um, so there's, there are oils that are beneficial across the, the whole spectrum to be able to help you with back to school. When you've got kids, yes, I know, I know Jay, you love your wild orange. <laughs> um, if you've got kids who are in sports, usually those are the kids that start to go back to school earliest. They're the ones that tend to stay in school the longest. You also tend to have medical concerns with sports kids or just people like me who are just colossal cluts. Um, getting bumps and bruises, getting minor injuries, just even sore muscles. You can help prepare them now before they go back to school by having the right products and the right oils and the right vitamins and minerals in the house where you can support them. Um, a high quality vitamin supplement. All food, food uh, plant-based vitamin mineral supplementation is going to be the first line of defense for a healthy child, for a healthy body, for a healthy lifestyle. Essential oils uh, like peppermint, wintergreen, um, camphor, uh, things like that, those types of oils that are muscle support. Um, rosemary is also really good. Add those to some Epsom salts for a post-workout recovery. So if you've got a child in sports, they come home from school and you can get them to take a 20 to 30 minute warm bath with Epsom salts and essential oils, you can help speed up their post-workout recovery, relax the mind from all the stresses of the day, and be able to get them more focused on homework. Unfortunately, right now in our society, our school kids complain more about stress and anxiety than ever before. If they only knew what adulthood was going to bring them, <laughs> I don't know how they're going to handle it if they're complaining about anxiety, extreme anxiety, not just minor stuff. If you ask them what's their anxiety level, most school kids will mark their anxiety level and in the high to extreme range. I'm afraid of what they're going to feel in their 20s and 30s. So if you can support them on a healthy lifestyle change now with back to school, it's only going to impact them for their future. For example, the younger they are when they start this process, the better equipped they are for their future about making a commitment to a healthy lifestyle moving forward. If you've got kids in high school or you've got kids in college, and you're starting them on this process now, that's not to say that this will fail, that there's any negative in starting a little bit later. But if you've got a kid in middle school that comes home from school and grabs a couple of essential oils for their diffuser in their bedroom because they know it's going to relax them, and they've made that commitment and they know what oils help them the best, or they grab peppermint and rosemary because they know it's going to help them study better for a test, they're grabbing lavender to help them sleep at night and get a better night's sleep so they're better equipped for school the next morning. 
you got a winner on your hands that is going to be embracing a healthy lifestyle through their entire school through their entire school career so as they move from middle school to high school they're going to excel at school because they're already embracing that lifestyle they know what they need to do what oils they need to take and, and utilize to get to put their best foot forward it's truly truly amazing when you get that that buy-in from the kids now the last thing I want to talk about before I open it up for questions and that is probably the biggest yeah I would say the biggest response from back to school every single year about a month after kids go back to school cold and flu season kicks in you're already seeing the ads on TV all of the over-the-counter drugs are trying to bait you already and tell you that it's time to stock up because when kids go back to school they're bringing a set of germs with them it's natural they have bacteria on them around them every day they're bringing that to school it's intermingling with the germs and bacteria of other kids so that now you're building a larger bubble of, of an intermixed bacteria and germ combination. Then that comes back home to you. Now you're being exposed to a whole new set of bacteria and germs. You take it to work. You intermingle with more people at work and now you're bringing a third mutation back home. So the more you, the more you and the child and everybody else starts intermingling around society, you are growing this ever larger bubble of germs and bacteria until ultimately it starts with a runny nose or a scratchy throat or runny eyes. So within 30 days of back to school, this is where you start to see that explosion of, a, of what I call back to school fever. Everybody starts to get sick. So immune boosting essential oils, combinations of uh, citrus, so lemon or orange, um, paired with cinnamon, clove, eucalyptus, melaleuca, um, oils like that that can help boost your immune system, offer you a uh, purifying atmosphere in the home, should be diffused in the house 20 to 30 minutes a day. Helps boost your immune system, so when that back to school funk starts to kick in, your immune system is better supported so you don't have to fight it after it starts. Avoid um, hand sanitizers like the plague. Most of them are highly toxic, loaded with carcinogens. Um, they do nothing but strip your body's natural immune system. So you are best off completely avoiding uh, hand sanitizers at all costs. Um, using, you can make a spray using that same blend of essential oils that I'm telling you will work for your immune system, you can make your own hand sanitizer spray using that same blend of oils with a tablespoon of rubbing alcohol and distilled water. And it will be more effective, support your immune system, and can help fight off uh, the germs and the bacteria that you're coming home with. So that's a big one. That's, that's one that you can impact with some huge, huge change this time of year. Uh, when it comes time for back to school and that that back to school funk. All right, so with that, let's see if any of you guys have any questions. Um, you can you're welcome to unmute yourself. Um, Jay, I restarted your video. Um, let's see. Um, Dana loves McDiet. I knew you would. <laughs> let's see. Yes, of course, Jay. At college, you're always urged to use the hand, the hand sanitizers. Um, they they are become and, and most of them are still alcohol based. And alcohol is drying, and they're loaded with chem they're loaded with chemicals that I would never put on my body anymore. I've never believed in hand sanitizers myself. I've always believed that our body is designed to fight off bacteria on its own, and utilizing something like hand sanitizer is basically telling the body that it doesn't need to do its job. And that's just unfair because when you stop the body from doing the job it's supposed to do and that it's designed to do, it decides to no longer provide that function for you. 
you know, and that, that's, where, that's where pharmaceuticals destroy our body. Pharmaceuticals, when you, when you start taking a drug for something minor, you know, minor headaches, minor back pain, uh, when you start taking drugs for that type of stuff, you're basically telling the body, I don't need you to provide the, the natural support that you're used to. So it stops. Comments, questions, extensions? Um, what blend would I recommend for immune building and focus? Um, on the doTERRA side, of course, for immune built, for immune, immune boosting, I would definitely say on guard. Um, and for focus, definitely in tune. Um, if you are not with doTERRA and don't have access to those blends, uh, for immune system, I would combine clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary, um, and orange or lemon, whatever you may have available. Um, for focus, uh, simply for focus, I would say combination of equal parts mint and citrus. Whatever ones you find yourself most, li you know, most liking. Um, so, you know, peppermint, spearmint, wintergreen, um, and any of the citrus oils. Equal parts of the two will provide a great focus boost. One other thing I wanted to show you guys, I want to bring this up real quick. Uh, when it comes to um, when it comes to trying to set up um, a diffuser for kids or using oils for kids, this is dilution percentages specifically for peppermint and eucalyptus in regards to kids. Um, they can be dangerous, especially for young children. So I know there's a lot of people that recommend diffusing the, uh, a blend of eucalyptus and peppermint. Uh, when that seasonal funk, when that back-to-school funk kicks in. Um, the Breathe blend of oils, peppermint and eucalyptus, can actually do more harm than good in children. So safer to be diffused than it is to be applied topically. However, if you are going to use it around children, I, I suggest that you, that you utilize proper dilution techniques for the safety of your child. All right, comments, questions? Well, I had one suggestion, but it may be better for next week, but I guess um, around the home it can probably still fall under tonight's topic. Um, but um, one of the things that happens quite often when um, school starts is lice. Yes. Um, and melaleuca is really great for situations like that. Um, it's something you can spray on a backpack just to try to keep the bugs away, um, but it's also something that can be used on bedding and sheets um, in the event that there is a lice infestation in your home. Yep. You can also, you know, add, add a drop to shampoo and conditioner. Um, you can even add a drop to, you can add it right to a brush or a comb. Um, it'll help sanitize that, the brush or the comb that's being used, and as you drag it through the hair, um, you are going to be um, adding some support that way. Um, be careful not to use a lot. Most brushes and combs are, are plastic these days, so if you add it directly to brushes and combs, you're going to slowly eat through that plastic, so you want to you use that short term. Okay, this is a question for both of you. Since, Dana, you brought up lice, um, what happens if you have an infestation of it in a public facility, you know, school? How, what, what is your, you know, what, what can you do about that kind of a situation? Because all those kids go back home, but then they come back to school. Well, that's kind of what Evan was talking about as far as, like, putting it in the shampoo and stuff. It's going to help ward it off. Um, lice and bed bugs also they do not like melaleuca i don't know if it's a smell thing or if it's a chemical thing like a taste thing for them um, but they just do not like it um i'd advise not going back 
going back to school. Right. You weren't. You I was, gonna, I was going to suggest mass beheadings, but I don't think that would be looked upon too favorably either. <laughs> well, see, I, don't, I don't have any children in school. My my kids are long out of school, but we had that in These our are my children. Huh? These are my children. I see. But we had an outbreak. We had an outbreak in our school last year, and it just seemed like as soon as you know one kid got over it, another kid kind of got it again and so i'm just i was just wondering what the recommendation but you said melaleuca so i'll yeah um one of the things that evan does um and we did this during spring cleaning week last um earlier this spring um but there's also we make i don't i assume evan does this too but i've made before um a carpet powder with um baking soda and um, melaleuca in it and you can spray you can just sprinkle that on your carpet um, and let the janitor come by and you know when he does this thing and vacuums vacuum it up um, but um, that's not that's a I mean that's something I don't know if you got to get your you know your school um, permission or what but um, I, that would probably be quite effective as well too to um, treat the carpets yeah, she if we had called it, she can do that. She can get that done. She she runs her school. She can do that. <laughs> <laughs> just just put a take a little spray bottle wherever you go and just squirt without anybody knowing. You know, I'm already thinking of something. But right. yeah, she's gonna gotta, tell them. She's gonna have bo bottles stationed around the the life station, and she's gonna tell everybody, get your bottle and spray it. Do this. Well, and also don't be and don't um, discount the power of apple cider vinegar. Also. What does that do? Apple cider vinegar um, is also a great cleanser. It's a purifier. It's antibacterial. It's all natural. Um, so you know that, that also will help with a lice infestation as well, if you, it, especially on kids. Um, it is also a wonderful, and it's a little off topic, but I know a lot of people who use apple cider vinegar for a flea infestation on their dogs as well. It will just do a, a bath with apple cider vinegar and okay. it helps knock down the flea infestation um, on their dogs. So, mm -hmm. yeah. well, that makes sense because kids that age, they run around like a bunch of little animals. So, <laughs> it's proper, it's fitting. I used to be a school bus driver, I know. Oh, okay. I used to be a, a, a tyrant in the school bus. I was always really, I you was really kid, kid that, that I always got yelled at. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had one of you. I yeah. was a bus driver too. Well, I, had to <laughs> I used to, I had to move from seat to seat so I could effectively sell my cinnamon toothpicks to everybody. Cinnamon toothpicks? Yep. I remember those. We saw those too. It was those and blow pops. Yeah, I I would slam on the brakes and be like, "Oh my goodness, you shouldn't have been out of your seat." I did the same thing. Oh, that's too funny. And then I'd have, and then I have to say, you should make sure there's seat belts in here. And then I'm gonna give you that look, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a, that, I'm, I was that crazy bus driver. They knew don't start a fight yep. because Miss Kiana, um, she's not breaking it up. So don't start something that you can't see through to the end. There you go. And just, hey, you know, let's just all get along. Mm -hmm. Hey, question again, back on topic, because we yes, just thank you, Suzanne. What was the recipe again you said for um, the spray sanitizer? And I think Dana sent one to me the last time I was on a, I think um, it was on in a, in a two ounce spray bottle, you can do a total of 20 drops of essential oil. So in this particular case, you're going to be using like the on guard blend. Um, since I know you have that for, with doTERRA, use the on guard blend um, to 20 drops of that, one tablespoon of either vodka or rubbing alcohol, and fill it the rest of the way with distilled water. Okay. And just make sure you shake it before you use it. And like vodka, like is there, you know, because I don't drink, like just vodka? <laughs> Rubbing alcohols or witch hazel too. Yeah, witch okay. hazel would work. Basically, you're, you're looking for something that's going to um, at least add to some of the um, 
uh, the evaporation of it. Uh, so it's not as liquidy. It'll help it. It'll help it evaporate a little bit faster. Okay. Yeah, and that recipe I set you is different, so you'll have like options there. Okay. Mine is more. Mine is a gel. The one that I yeah, said. That's right. Yours is okay. Yours is a gel. Yep. And experiment, because you know the big thing is, and the big takeaway every time we do a class is to understand that every person is different. Everybody's skin type's a little different. Everybody has a little bit different trigger and reaction to different scents and different and different oils. So always be open to experimentation just because you know lavender may be great and soothing and relaxing for 90 percent of the population you may be the person that lavender heightens your emotions and you can't get to sleep using something like that maybe for you something that wakes everybody else up like peppermint is soothing and relaxing and calming for you so the more you experiment and and play with different scents and combinations you'll find that you will come across the perfect combination for you, regardless of what the world tells you should work. You know, and that's, that's part of the fun. You get to be your own mad scientist. You know, I want to hang a sign up uh, in front of one of my doors that says Summer's Apothecary, because I'm forever putting together different blends and different mixes to <clears throat> experiment, see what I like, what I don't like, know that I can change it any time. You know, it's good to have that big rack of oils behind my head. <laughs> love it. I love how there's a second layer underneath you now. I keep waiting for the third set of racks to go up beside it. Well, I got to get I'll, I got to get the fourth one to fill out the the continuity first. I have to have enough oils to fill out a fourth one. Nice. Well, off topic, how did your vendor event go yesterday? Um let me let's wrap this up and then I'll tell you guys I'll tell you all about it. Okay, thanks. Um so <laughs> Does that, um, any other questions or comments on back to school? Let's let's entertain them. Otherwise, thank you guys all for being here tonight. Uh, remember, we do this every Sunday, 8 p.m. I, Eastern. I do have a quick question. Okay, Kiana. Uh, um, mono, that that now this back to school, a lot of college kids, you know, right. down about, and I do have, uh, do you have something? Is that pretty much that immune booster one you recommend? Absolutely. Um, that's going to be the first. That's going to be the start of it because you want to do that in advance. Really, your best your best form of defense is to attack a problem before it becomes a problem. So boosting your immune system in advance with proper vitamins and mineral supplementation, better diet, better lifestyle, and that immune boosting blend is going to help you from even contracting mono in the first place. So that's, you know, that's a bent that that can definitely help. Um, depending on the severity of the symptoms, uh, you may end up fighting off individual mono symptoms versus going after the entire because usually mono has to kind of run its course. Uh, and for most people, you know, it's, it's a matter of a, a couple of weeks of dealing with it. Um, usually in minor flu-like symptoms. Uh, so as long as you can put up with it, you know, just boosting your immune system should usually take care of it before it ever starts. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. So like I was saying, every Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern, it is a weekly education on essential oils. It is not pushing a sales agenda. This is strictly educational. It's brand neutral. You can bring questions about any oil, any company, Anything you want to know about the world of essential oils, you are invited to join us every single week. It's a different topic every week. Um, we usually end up going off topic like we did tonight. And there will always be an open Q&A at the end once we shut down the recording. Um, but you are welcome to join us. Bring your friends. Bring your family. Um, drag the homeless guy in off the street and have him sit next to you for an hour. Um, anything you can do to spread the word about natural health solutions, the better. Thank you guys all for being here tonight. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Uh, for Dana, I'm Evan with Summer's Wellness. Thank you guys for being here. Have a great night.